Hi everybody, today's episode is going to be about boats, since I own a boat and figured since I was here I might as well show you guys my boat. So right here it is, got my little window right here just to see what's going on in the water, I just check right down there to see what's going on and I steer the boat with this little strip over here, you can pull it to go faster and push it back if you don't want to go as fast, it's pretty good. Um, actually own about five or six boats, these, these boats right here, they're all mine, you know. I just collect them, they're just fun. I like driving them around, connect them all together and just drive really fast, race them with my friends all over. It's all over the sea, so fun. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is just where you put your foot to stay strapped in. So then if you fall off the boat, you can just pull yourself right back on. It's cool, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, that's a whole little house on the boat too. So I could live there if I wanted, on the land, I mean on the water. Anyway, um, so actually in this video I want to talk about how I've been feeling kind of depressed for the last few weeks. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's just been like kind of, actually started a few weeks ago where um, I was at work and I was writing something down and one of my co-workers looked at what I was writing and she's like, oh we really have to work on your girly writing and I'm like, I know, I realize that. <laughs> and because um, my, my writing is quite messy. Um, it's like fairly boyish, I guess, but um, it just brought up all these feelings like um, I need to be so vigilant in hiding any masculinity or any, any part of my old boy self because I just, it just feels like I'm being judged by like everyone who knew me as a boy and it feels like they're like judging me on like how well I present and stuff like that and you know it's like really not that big of a deal that she said like I need to work on my writing but it just brought up all these internal issues for me and I also, I've also found it kind of hard when I'm hanging out with my friends that knew me as a boy because, again, it feels like they're just um, viewing me like a boy who's trying to be a girl kind of thing or um, just like they're going along with like my, <laughs> like what I want to do, like they don't really see me the way I want them to see me kind of thing and I don't know, this is all really just projecting my own insecurities onto other people and like me thinking about what other people might be thinking about me but it's still, it's like, it's hard, it's like, I don't know, it's not very nice to deal with this stuff and it's making me, the last few weekends I've been feeling kind of a little bit down and a little bit anxious about it, but really, you really shouldn't need to care what goes on in other people's heads because you have absolutely no idea what's actually going on in their heads, so I just need to try and move on from it and, um, but I've been kind of like mopey and stuff recently, but I have a good like boyfriend slash girlfriend who helps me through it all, which is nice. Uh, oh, because my, my, my partner is trans too, so they're like boyfriend slash girlfriend kind of thing, so it's kind of nice. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, I also got my driver's license um, the other day, yesterday actually, so that's cool. Um, I just went down to the driver's license place about a week ago and uh, got my picture taken and stuff and they changed my um, gender on my license to F, which is awesome because I can't actually get my legal gen gender changed until I get the surgery, which is pretty stupid. But um, yeah, so I have a new driver's license now, which matches the way I look and everything and has my new name on it and stuff. So that's really good. So I won't have any more awkwardness when I'm buying alcohol or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so that's all my stuff for now. Um, been trying to write back to you guys, send me messages and stuff, but we ended up getting delayed in doing that, so sorry about that. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.